The front fender is a pretty standard aluminum front fender. Nothing fancy, mid-blade mount, all that good stuff. One report we've had uh, is that people are getting their mud flap rubbing against the tire or catching up underneath, and it's a simple fix. Just move the mud flap to the outside of the fender. It looks less clean, but it will save you a whole bunch of trouble. The rear fender of the edge runner is somewhat unique. As a wishbone rear stay that connects to the seat stay instead of the chain stay, making it much shorter than normal, and a elongated eyelet in the front stay. And that lets you adjust the positioning of that fender after you've mounted it. And that way you can edge it out of the way to clear the chain or edge it back to give a little bit more coverage. On the larges, it also comes with this five mil spacer both here and underneath the uh, seat stay bridge. And that just moves the fender into the correct position. It's not needed on the mediums and it's always included with the fender sets. So if you're installing fenders aftermarket, if it's a large, put them in. If it's not, you can leave that watcher out. And that's the rear fender. Thank you.